My long-term objective is to make a painting while standing on the surface of the moon. <laughs> and in a way, all of the work that I've been making over the past, um, I don't know, 10 years has been some sort of progression towards that goal. I guess probably all of this started out of maybe boredom and also because I'm a bit of a multitasker and it's hard for me just to sit still and just do one thing. So I began just drawing while I was driving around in my car on the freeways because sometimes you're sitting in traffic and there's nothing to do and it just seemed like there was all this wasted time where I could actually be making artwork. And then that started growing into more and more elaborate projects where I needed people to help me. And then it's just sort of kept growing and growing and growing and becoming more and more of these sort of end game strategies of like, how can I top that? <laughs> For me, what it is is about putting myself in situations that make me feel uncomfortable and then really make me have to dig deep and and do something that surprises myself, you know, that I, I guess I've just felt like I can do the studio thing and I can sit in my room and I can make a whole bunch of artwork and I can carefully select what is good and what's bad and show that to the world and more and more I've felt like when I'm out there doing something and everything's on the line and people are watching, I feel like I've really got to bring it and I've got to pour everything I have into it. What would an artist a hundred years ago be doing today? Like, What would the futurists or Picasso be doing if he was alive today? Would he be just standing in a studio making paintings or would he be outside in the world? Like, Our whole lives now exist in movement. We're always doing something, going somewhere. We're very few times at rest and it just seems to make sense that I go out into the world and have the world bombard me. When I'm making art and I'm undergoing g-forces or something in a fighter plane, um, it certainly challenges the steadiness of my hand. Uh, but I also like that. I like that it's a, it's a document from a place in time that's very specific. And then when you look at it, it makes you think of, of the process. And those things are tied together. I mean, I always think it's weird where artists make these things that are just seem to be out of thin air and they just appear and there's no context for it. And, um, I've always been super fascinated with the stories and lives of artists and reading their biographies and seeing like, holy shit, like that painting was made under these circumstances. Like you look at the great Caravaggio paintings and he was basically on the run from the law most of his life and he's like, in some church basement painting this painting and then the, like the, the Knights Templar or whatever show up and he, that's why they're all unfinished because he took off in the middle of the night and I think that for me just gives those paintings so much more color. My name is Michael Markowski and I'm an artist.